So my name is Mark Patrick Taylor. I'm a professor of environmental sciences at Macquarie University in Sydney. My research group looks at environmental contamination. We're interested in air, soil, dust, water, food and people. And our research seeks to identify the sources and causes and risks associated with environmental contamination. Most, but not all of our work has looked at environmental uh, metals and metalloids, you know, lead, arsenic, zinc, copper, cadmium, nickel for example. So as part of our work we've used X-ray technology, we've used portable XRFs in order to expedite understanding contaminants at the human level, i.e. in people's homes and immediate residential environments. The portable XRF or all XRF uh, technologies, they analyse elements and they give you a concentration and we've used it largely in recent times to analyse people's garden soils and people's household dusts and it tells us about the risks that they may face or the nature and extent of the hazards that they may face and what risks they may pose to their health. About 50% of Australians grow some sort of food in their gardens. We know that most of Australians live in big cities. We know that those cities contain legacy contaminants that have come from industrial activity, uh, use of paints on people's buildings and also emissions from motor vehicles and they have contaminated soils and dusts in city environments where most of our community live. Consequently, people who are now deciding or seeking to use their gardens to produce a range of foods are interested to know if their soil is contaminated because they don't want to unnecessarily contaminate themselves. So they ask us, can you tell us, is our soil free of metal contaminants? VeggieSafe program works where people send us their soil and we analyse the soil and we email the results back. We then store those results on our database and we can use those results for scientific purposes. In order to have a program which collects soil homogeneously across the whole of Australia, we ask people to provide soil samples between 0 and 2 centimetres. That's because it matches the Australian standard. And the reason being is that if you've had flaking paint or emissions from industry or tailpipes from cars, it's predominantly going to land on the upper part of the soil surface. All the studies that we've done, it is typically the top two centimetres which are the most contaminated with lead. And as you move down through the soil profile, the numbers drop off drastically. We've also used our VeggieSafe protocol in assisting community gardeners. Many of them are located in inner city areas. They're concerned about possible legacy contamination. And so we've been able to use the same process that we use for VeggieSafe, which is predominantly accessed by homeowners, also for community gardens.